On October 27, 2024, Telegraph reported that Canada has delivered a new batch of light armored vehicles, LAVs, to Ukraine, enhancing the Ukrainian Armed Forces ZSU capacity to evacuate wounded personnel from combat zones. This delivery is part of Canada's ongoing commitment to support Ukraine amidst the ongoing conflict with Russia, which has seen an increasing need for effective medical evacuation solutions. Prior to their deployment, these LAVs underwent extensive training sessions in Germany, where Ukrainian personnel were trained on the operation and maintenance of the vehicles, particularly the ambulance variant. Following this training, the LAVs were loaded and transported to Ukraine, where they are now positioned to play a critical role in assisting medical teams on the battlefield. Since the onset of the conflict, Canada has demonstrated its commitment to enhancing Ukraine's defense infrastructure, pledging $4.5 billion in military aid in 2022 alone. This latest shipment of LAVs reflects part of a broader Canadian support package, which also includes an additional military aid commitment announced on October 18, valued at $64.8 million Canadian dollars, approximately $47 million US dollars. This package encompasses firearms, ammunition, and protective equipment, reinforcing Canada's commitment to Ukraine's defense. The LAV is a Canadian-made reconnaissance and armored vehicle that has been widely used by both the Canadian Army and the United States Marine Corps. Based on the Swiss MOWAG Piranha I-8x8 platform, the LAV is designed for reconnaissance and support missions. It typically carries a crew of four, commander, gunner, loader and driver, and is capable of operating effectively in various weather conditions, both day and night. Equipped with a 7.62mm machine gun with a 1,000 round capacity, the LAV provides essential self-defense capabilities. The latest model, the LAV-6, enhances the original design with a double-V hull, DVH, for superior protection against improvised explosive devices, i.e. DEES and mines, significantly improving crew survivability. The vehicle features an upgraded suspension system and a more powerful engine to support added armor, improving its off-road performance. Notably, the LAV-6 replaces man turrets with a remotely operated 25mm or 30mm autocannon, which allows for more precise targeting and greater situational awareness. Advanced electronics, including a battle management system, facilitate real-time battlefield data sharing, further enhancing operational effectiveness. The newly delivered LAVs are particularly useful in improving medical evacuation capabilities directly from the battlefield. Given the escalating intensity of the conflict, the need for efficient and secure evacuation solutions has never been more urgent. Traditional ambulances are often ill-equipped to operate in active combat zones, but the LAV's reinforced armor offers crucial protection for both medical teams and wounded personnel from small arms fire and shrapnel. This capability enables safer extractions in high-risk environments where standard evacuation vehicles would be too vulnerable to threats, including artillery and drone attacks. Furthermore, the design of the LAVs allows for effective maneuverability across Ukraine's diverse and challenging terrain, whether it's rugged, muddy, or snowy landscapes that are often inaccessible to standard military vehicles. This adaptability is vital for reaching troops stationed in remote locations, ensuring that injured soldiers can be swiftly evacuated to medical facilities. The LAV's all-weather and night operating capabilities enable continuous medical support, ensuring evacuation operations are not constrained by the time of day or weather conditions. As the conflict in Ukraine continues, Canada's provision of light armored vehicles marks a significant enhancement in the ZSU's medical evacuation capabilities. The combination of robust protection, operational flexibility, and advanced technology in these vehicles will play a crucial role in saving lives on the battlefield, reflecting Canada's steadfast support for Ukraine's fight against aggression.